What's up guys? Lots of things planned for the day. So as you know, I moved to California. That means I have to register at the Huracan and the S550 in California. How much did that cost? What did I have to go through? Did I have to smog the cars? Let's find out. How am I gonna forget the key if I just walked into the car? So my buddy Justin, better known as Sherp, that's definitely his name, so make sure to call him that. He's got that red Audi S4 with the twin turbos on it. Well, the wastegates had a problem. He's doing that today. He's almost done, I believe. So hopefully we can catch the end of that process and then go for a drive in this absolutely ridiculous S4. I really need to go to the Getty Museum. I hear it's absolutely gorgeous up there. Once again, my friend's place is 11 miles away and it is an hour drive because of this traffic. But thankfully, uh, I'm not even touching the steering wheel. This Mercedes drives itself. Finally almost there. Now I just found a problem with Mercedes Distronic. This truck, because it's so high, it doesn't really know how close it is to the rear of it. So I definitely had to hit the brakes there so I didn't hit the truck because, well, the Mercedes was a bit confused. Wow, this is actually kind of a cool angle. The Mercedes has so many random little features that have been so convenient for filming, and it was totally unexpected. I mean, I bought this car because... <laughs> oh, look, look! <laughs> this is what I love about having YouTube as my license plate. Most of the people don't know who I am, obviously, but just having YouTube, people freak out and think I'm some super famous star. Of course, the oddball person who knows who Vehicle Virgins is, but <laughs> they go absolutely wild. But yeah, as I was saying, there's so many features of this car that have been so great for Vehicle Virgins. I got the car because I reviewed it. I reviewed Kent of Kentington's car, absolutely fell in love with it. But then it turns out that the back is actually perfect for fitting my slider dolly. And then I can do rolling shots from the back of the S-Class. And because the suspension is so smooth, well, that, see, well, okay, turns out it's not perfect. Because the suspension is so smooth, you can actually get epic rolling shots. And now I've got this weird ledge right by the center console here, check it out. That is perfect for a camera angle. Love this thing. Okay, you claim to be the beer and wine of the world, but I've never seen another store or heard of you. Interesting. You know what? Interesting technique though, I guess. Fake it till you make it, maybe. Syracuse in California. Interesting. Thought that was in New York. Huh. Satellite campus, I guess. Ooh, nice white M5. I love those cars with black wheels and black accents. It needs a little bit more of a tint, but that's fresh. Arrived at EAG. There's the G-Wagon. We got a 6 Series, a CLS. Nice. E-A-G. It's in the driveway. That should, wait, that should totally be their catchphrase. I'm about to go tell them. What they don't realize is I really only come here for the M&Ms. <laughs> All right, Amir, what we got going on over here? This is your place. Which, which car is this one for? This is super boring. We're going to need to change this. So if you plan on writing this license plate down to steal my identity or I don't know what the hell you could do with this, it's not going to work. 2015 Lamborghini Huracan. Does it say how much it costs, the registration on that? No. Okay. I want to talk about in this video about how much it costs, but I've got it written down. Nice. Pretty similar. So the sevens are like dependent on the year, right? They're up to seven now? Well, it's not. I think back in fourteen, they started with the seven. Oh, okay, guys, so gotcha. Thirteen onwards, it was. What happens when they run out? It's gonna go to eight, I'm guessing. <laughs> what happens when they get to nine? <laughs> All right, R.I.P. for now to YouTube. <laughs> Gotta change the angles, man. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. This is what Vehicle Virgins is all about. Installing plates for the first time from California. Turns out these screws aren't long enough to have a plate frame. I've never had one before on the S-Class, so I'm gonna get longer ones. Changing my mind, instead of putting the California plate on right now, we're gonna do one of these, because everyone apparently with expensive cars is rocking not real license plates. That looks freaking sweet. Until I get a Vehicle Virgins version, then I'm taking yours off. Oh, excellent car song. Just left EAG, got the new plates. Now I'm curious guys, what do you think? I'm gonna need custom plates for the Mercedes and the Lambo. Currently the Mercedes has YouTube as the plate. The Lambo says VV94, Vehicle Virgins. I was born in 1994. I may wanna mix it up or I may wanna do the same thing. Also depends on availability uh, in California. So leave comments below and maybe I'll take a look at the top rated comments. Obviously it can't be something totally inappropriate because the DMV won't even approve it, let alone, I don't know if I would want something like that on my license plate. 
Maybe I would, I don't know. <laughs> but let me know what you think the plate should be for the Lambo and for the Mercedes. Now, because I'm in California, I had to get my cars smog because I transferred them from Michigan to California. So the smog price for each of the cars was $60 each. It took about 15 minutes to do at a smog shop near where I lived. Very, very easy, although the guy was probably really confused when I showed up in the Lamborghini and my friend who looks like he's 12 years old showed up in my S class. Registration fees. So for the Lamborghini, it was $2,053 to register it in California. Now the next year it's actually going to go down, which is nice, the first year is higher. For the Mercedes, $1,000 even. So honestly, it's not actually that bad given the MSRP of the cars. In California, they're based on the actual value. In Michigan, they didn't have the Lamborghini in the system. So they judged the registration price off the original MSRP, which for my car was like $293,000. I didn't buy the car for $293,000. It's certainly not worth $293,000 anymore. So that was really annoying, especially for the Gallardo. When I had to register that every year, they based it off its $225,000 MSRP and the car was worth hundred grand. How that makes sense, I don't know. Trying to go to Justin's house, but uh, traffic is not really agreeing with me here. Okay, here's a big gripe I have with a lot of auto manufacturers. Now Dodge actually figured this out in the Ram 1500. Nobody uses the built-in navigation. Nobody I know anyways. Everyone is using their phones. The phones have better live updates. They're always updatable via the app store. You can use Waze, you can track for cops. Everything is better with using your phone for navigation. The problem is there's no place to store your damn phone in any car. Yeah, the cup holders, but then you can't really see it. It's at a weird angle. If you're charging your phone, you gotta stick it in the glove compartment. So please, auto manufacturers, come up with some design when you're building new cars to house the phone. Dodge did a really good job at this of having this little strip with rubber where you can plug in your phone and it means it can fit phones of any sizes, not just an iPhone 5 that becomes obsolete after five minutes. I kind of figured out like a little bit of a jury rig solution in the Mercedes, check this out. Once again, awesome S-Class things. It fits right there and the actual vents for the air hold the phone in place and then I can see it well and block the uh, gorgeous 12.3 inch screen, but who needs that anyways when you can have a very small uh, 4.75 inch screen. Damn, that's an SV with real diamonds on the license plate. Excellent choice. I swear all gated communities are secretly racetracks. Look at this smooth road. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the headquarters of YE Engineering slash Sherp Engineering slash Ghetto Installs and the location of straight piping the Hood AMG. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. What, uh, what step are we at right now? Um, putting the whole front end back on, it's one piece. So you got the turbos, all the internals are finished? You're just putting yeah. the front on? Yeah. Well, that's nice. What would you say the yeah. secret to Sherp Engineering is? Um, eBay? <laughs> that's, that's good. eBay and Harbor Freight. Look at this, this has Cayenne brakes on it. Bilstein shocks, nice. This is so well done on the inside. It just has, you know, actually, I don't know what you're talking about. You said it wasn't that clean on the outside. There's like a couple little scratches, but. Well, yeah, the whole car is pretty, driven, pretty mint. Yeah, it's, it's been driven the way it's meant to be driven. And look at the, I mean, look at the engine. It's All ridiculous. All the paint is original, except the uh, front bumper and the hood. Why, what happened to the hood? I don't know, I just, I found out when oh, I okay. bought it. Gotcha. Nothing to do with when the sensor flew off and smashed into there. No. <laughs> Wait, what happened with that again? Uh, too much boost. Okay. And it shot out because I didn't clamp it properly. And it shot into that and dented that. And then you were hanging out with Jamie and the car caught on fire? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, right after he said you should get a fire extinguisher and then, then you didn't do oh, that. Oh, I have one. Oh, you have one now? Yeah. Does There's it work? <laughs> that would be a Justin move. You have a fire extinguisher that has no nothing it's in empty. it. It's, it's, it's empty same. from all the other fires. So these coil packs are the same on an R8 as they are on a Jetta, but the Jettas cost 20 something dollars and for the R8, they're 50 something, but they're the same. But you know what? Now they're in an S4 with twin turbos on it, so it doesn't really matter. This car is like the definition of intelligent budget build. So this was being test fitted. They gave it to him for free. He has a $2,000 clutch in it that the guy built the car even further. That one wouldn't hold. And he ended up getting it for 300 bucks. And pretty much every other part on this has some similar story to that from the forum. I got my bottom at my connecting rods for $375 from a friend. <laughs> It was just in a box, he just handed them to me. How much do you think you spent on this car in total? On this build? Yeah. Um, I know the final build, bill, like the cost of parts is around 4,000, maybe a little bit less. But I did sell my old stuff for like more than $2,000. Whoa, that's sick. Yeah. So the trick with this car is that when you mod it, 
you put the new parts on and the parts you take off, yeah, you sell get rid them. Of them. Yeah. <laughs> the secret to Sherp engineering is not eBay, it's zip ties. And when the air box is too restrictive, you just sawzall it. It's a good thing he has a fire extinguisher now. He has a giant can of methanol in his garage. These are the old turbos, 47 millimeters, but they are the exact same as the ones that are in here. Just a different company. Just a different, okay, a different brand. And what was the issue? You had wastegate problems? Yeah, so the wastegate was binding and it just got stuck open, so it, it made no boost at all. Yeah, and you can't access them without like pretty much almost pulling the engine, well, right? Well, the actuator, you can, you can do it tight, but the yeah. actual like door, which was on turbo, you can't put the engine in. Gotcha. Because of my mechanical engineering degree, they've trusted me with a very, very important part of the procedure, and that is stepping on the brake pedal when they ask me to. See, this is a rare helical shifter. You go from first, and then you spin it in the 360, and that's second, and then you just keep going, third, on the brake. 2,000 years later. All right, off. So I know a lot of you in the comments were talking about how my friend Chris, who has the M3, looks like he's 12. Well, we actually found his pants here. <laughs> so special thanks to War Robots for sponsoring this video. The best part about it is this game has provided a ton of stress relief, especially when Sherp has been uh, messing with the axles and installing them. It's just a large screaming match. Go in! Go in! So come over here, let me show you this game. Basically, it is an epic PvP shooter game with robots that are fully customizable. So I've got kind of a Vehicle Virgin's paint scheme here. You can upgrade it. Basically, it's a six-on-six -six shooter game. You can play with your friends, online, whatever. You can get new robots as you rank up. Super easy controls. You can choose different weapons. And then I just basically shoot people the entire time. And especially my team. <laughs> Chris, come back! So yeah, download War Robots. It's for iOS and also Android. It provides a ton of stress relief. If you're not doing anything, it's a great way to pass time. If you're really angry about a test or installing aftermarket parts on your S4, it's also awesome. <laughs> Click the link below to access the game. Let's finish this build. Well, in typical project car fashion, nothing has really happened in the last two hours in terms of progress, but that's all right. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. It should be done. And then we're gonna go for the maiden voyage in this car that Justin has been working on for the last year. So it is very exciting. Exciting. And once it's all put together, we're gonna do a review on a ridiculously cool upgraded turbo S4 wagon. What's up guys? It's another day. Of course, as project cars go, the vehicle still isn't done. So we're gonna have to think of something else to do today. How lame is this? So I went to a birthday dinner with my mom. It was so nice. I was there for an hour, $58 parking ticket. God damn it, Los Angeles. Also, I'm friggin' obsessed with these. I don't know what it is with YouTubers, me, I guess TJ Hunt, and also Street Speed. So I'm thinking of setting a P.O. box up. So if you wanna contribute to the Parker waking up early, feel free to send these. Just kidding, but maybe, maybe not kidding. Also, I feel like I need a tripod for this vlogging camera so that I can do time lapses and stuff. So I'm gonna look at Best Buy, get a tripod that's both a handle and a tripod. The ones with the little balls on it look super weird, but you know what, whatever. <laughs> and I know you guys want a house tour, so I'm thinking in the next few days, I'll drop that video. We'll do a crib style. We'll make it dope. This store has 458 in the number, so I think it's possibly going to be the perfect place for a P.O. box. UPS store. Hey, if I wanted to set up a uh, mailbox, et cetera, do I just come in and talk to you guys? Yeah, you need to uh, bring two forms of identification, and then uh, depending on the, the box you want, the box will start at $35 a month, and then they go up from there. Cool. Feels like a Lambo day today. I don't know. Weather's good. Weather's always good here, what am I saying? I have a feeling this cold startup's gonna scare this woman. Oh no, she's going away. No, come back. Oh, she wasn't scared at all. I love how I don't even have to check the weather here. I just go outside and boom, it's 73 degrees and sunny. Also though, it's two miles to UPS and it's gonna take 15 minutes. Subscriber in front of me with a sick all black M4. <laughs> What's up, dude? Dude, I'm one of your biggest fans. No way. I'm you got, you got anything to say to your mom? Yeah, what's up, Mom? Mary Fonte, <laughs> you're the shit. <laughs> That's awesome. Coolest guy ever. Flew out here from Ohio for a job interview. So good luck to you, dude. Thanks for the support. He's been following me for three years. I don't know how you can possibly put up with my face for three years, but I guess that's a good sign. See, in California, they warn you if there's like a one inch dip. In Michigan, they're like, oh, good luck. Fuck your car. Well, that was easy. It's official, I've got a mailbox in California, so I'm gonna put the address right up here so you can send any fan mail, whatever you want. Don't make it too ridiculous, I guess. <laughs> I'm also gonna put it in the link in the description below. Pretty stoked about this. Lamborghini, if you can send me the new SUV in my mailbox, that would be, that'd be good. I'll take one in red, thanks. Let's go to Best Buy and get a tripod. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, what color is the Civic again? I'm sorry, sir? What color is the uh, Civic? I, I forget what color my car is. Oh, Okay, I apologize for the inconvenience, sir. Have a pleasant day. Oh, thank you very much. This guy just called me and he goes, Hi, I'm calling from dealer services about the fault on your Lamborghini. Uh, and I'm like, excuse me, there, there's no fault. I don't know what you're saying. And then he goes, oh, your uh, warranty's expiring. Uh, we need to renew that, which is pretty good on you because it is, it's not expired yet, but at the end of this year, it will. Uh, and it sounded sketchy. There's too much background noise, clearly a prank call. And I was like, okay, um, what model is it? And he goes, oh, the, the Lamborghini Honda Civic. <laughs> and then when I asked what color it was, he had said, have a nice day. So he was polite about it. That was a pretty funny prank call. I'm trying to call back. I gotta ask him about his Hyundai Veloster. Ah, damn, damn. I wonder if he used one of those hide my number things. It's a sign. I need to do a Lambo Uber. If anyone has an Uber driver account, not just an Uber account, but you're an Uber driver and is down for this, shoot me a DM on Instagram at Vehicle Virgins. I think we need to set up the Huracan as an Uber. If you own a Prius, even better, because I would love to be a Prius Uber driver and show up in, um, in a Prius, yeah. Well, the Lambo's sort of compact, so I'm gonna call that close enough so I don't get door dings. Cool guy just walked by and complimented the car. Little do you know, he owns an AMG GT parked right next to it. Hello. All right, we got these ones that everyone uses that kind of freak me out the way they look. Then a Manfrotto one, but I don't know about the grip, but unfortunately it's sealed, so I can't take a look at it. I think I'm gonna go with this though. Manfrotto's a good brand. Boom, getting this one for sure. I need to ask about the screen though, because it's cracked and it's really bugging me. So the lady I just filmed in the last clip near the exit, <laughs> she tried to steal a gift card. And then when she gave her reasoning for why she was trying to steal a gift card, she said her son was in jail and that the police needed a gift card as payment to get him out. And the guy at Best Buy was like, that's, that's not how the cops work, ma'am. I think you're being scammed, so. <laughs> I swear to God, they make the packaging on this stuff so sharp that it's almost a challenge not to get injured while you're trying to remove it. Damn, that's actually quality. I dig it. New angle with the tripod. I actually like that a lot, although it's probably gonna fall the second I move and smash into a bunch of things in the interior, so I don't know if I wanna do that. Best Buy couldn't fix the camera. It's only under factory warranty. I didn't get the extended warranty because last time I got it on the G7X, the person told me that the warranty would cover even if I just decided to purposely throw it on the ground, I could bring it back and they'd give me a new one. Well, it turns out when my camera broke, I didn't drop it that time. The actual device that closes uh, the lens cover that's automatic no longer would open and close very well. So I tried to return it for that. That's way less harmful than purposely sabotaging the camera and they go no sorry we have to send it back to the service center they have to evaluate it and I'm like okay I'm a youtuber I, I can't really be without this camera for very long so the guy recommended a place to get the camera fix I'm gonna check that out maybe I don't know about today though ooh super low angle awkward driving shots nice went back and got a cheap printer I feel like a real adult now all right back at the place I think this is a good time to end the vlog Coming out with the house tour soon. Gonna be doing some crazy stuff on the channel. So stay tuned, hit that notification bell right underneath the video so you stay up to date and don't miss any videos. I look forward to seeing you next video. I said video a lot of times, whatever, end it now. <laughs>